Hi, I'm Emma Kenny, the Channel Mum Psychologist in Residence. A warm welcome back to the Channel Mum Anxiety Course. In the last episode, we looked at the signs and symptoms and behaviours of anxiety. So, if you haven't watched it yet, do check it out. This week, we are looking at how to break the cycle of anxiety by understanding our thought processes and challenging them. Hopefully, you'll also have taken our anxiety questionnaire too. And if you haven't, I'd urge you to do it, please. It's really useful. Okay, let's get started. Everyone worries, but for some of us, those anxious worries really can get in the way of a happy life. Anxious people are literally on high alert. And for so many, that means constantly thinking that something awful is about to happen. Learning to break the cycle doesn't just reduce those difficult feelings, it actually transforms your entire life in lots of different ways. But, of course, like any accomplishment, it takes a bit of work. Let's hear from some of our mums and dads about the crazy thoughts that they've had and what their anxious inner voice has said to them. I shouldn't leave the house, that me and my kids are safer at home, Small things are big things, that you can't do this. Something's going to go wrong, so I'm going to get stuck in loads of traffic, I'm going to be late. When I turn up, everyone's going to be staring at me, judging me. Everyone's going to already know each other and no one's going to talk to me. And then that probably leads to the craziest thought, which is to not go to the things that are making me anxious. It can tell me that I'm worthless, it can tell me that I'm not good enough. Anxiety is paralysing, and that inner voice is constantly trying to get me to stop living life. We can start putting anxiety back in its place by how we view it. There are 10 simple things you can do or ask yourself that will really help when you feel worries starting to pop up and anxiety starting to build. Let me share them with you. How many of the things I feared would happen in my life have actually happened? If you're anything like me, then the answer will be very few. And the very few that actually happened were mostly not as painful or as terrible as I expected. Worries are often just monsters you build in your own mind. I find that telling myself this regularly makes it easier to stay calm and to stop a worried thought before it becomes a snowball of negativity. Try to avoid getting lost in vague fears. When fears feel vague in your mind, you lack clarity by asking yourself, honestly and realistically, What's the worst that could happen? In my experience, the worst that could realistically happen is usually not as scary as what my mind could make up when it's running wild with vague fears. Don't try to guess what's on someone else's mind. Mind reading is never a good idea because it can really easily lead to creating an exaggerated and even disastrous scenario in your mind. People don't think about you and what you do as much as you may think. They have their hands full with thinking about what other people think of them and with thinking about what's closest to their hearts, like their children, their pets, a partner, their job, or maybe the school run. Don't let such thoughts hold you back in life. Say stop in any situation where you know you cannot think straight. Say to yourself, I'll think this through at a time when I know my mind will work better, like when I've eaten or in the morning when I've had a really good night's sleep. Get some exercise or fresh air. Few things work so well and so consistently as working out or going for a walk in the fresh air to release inner tensions. Let your worry out into the light. You let your big worry into the light by talking about it with someone close to you and it becomes a whole lot easier to see the situation or issue for what it really is. You can talk to someone in the real world or you can come and chat to me and the team in Channel Mum support group about your worry. Don't forget, you can post anonymously too. Spend more time in the present moment. When you spend too much time reliving the past in your mind, it's easy to start feeding your worries about the future. When you spend too much time in the future, it's also easy to get swept away by disaster scenarios. So focus on spending more of your time and attention in the present moment. Do whatever you're doing right now, but do it slower. Move, talk, eat or walk slower. By doing so, you'll become more aware of what's happening all around you right now. Disrupt your negative thoughts as soon as they appear by shouting this to yourself in your mind. Stop! Then reconnect with the present moment by taking just one or two minutes to focus 100% on what is going on around you. The key 
to all of these ideas is to practice. The more you learn to break down your fears and anxieties, the more manageable they become. And in the end, you do it automatically. And that means way less unnecessary anxiety. Master that small step, then master another small step, and so on. Come over to the Channel Mum support group and tell me what small step you're taking as of right now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode where I'll show you four amazing techniques to help you manage those anxious times. Mm -hmm.